Yo, 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 TGA. Hope you're all having a good day. Today, we have got the Honda NSX. You know why? It's a drift hey, build. Oh my god, not line. again. Kira. Okay, I'm just gonna do this before next episode. But. We've got the Honda NSX, and this thing looks nice with the Forza front bumper and these rims, in my opinion. This colour, I mean, you can get different colours. But yeah, this is basically just a drift build. All that I did then was. I didn't do any engine conversions of that. Nothing too special, other than twin turbo. And this thing's pretty quick. It's kind of a mix between a drift build and we've got perfect weather for drifting now, so let's do some of that. Comment below, what's your favourite drift car so far? Now, I don't have a favourite drift car in general, because I, I, I've hardly drifted in this game. Drifting is a big thing for me in Horizon 2, but not in this one. I don't know why. I just... No idea. Oh, forgot they were solid banisters. Sorry people, carry on eating your lunch. You know how it is, in the rain, just sitting outside. That's what people do in Australia. I thought this thing had a body kit on it, but it doesn't! Like, I was like, because I've heard people talking about it, like, my friend in that. Body kit. No body kit. I was mad. And um, the reason I bought this and the reason I'm doing this on it is because I picked this up for a bargain on the auction. It's like a genuine bargain. So it costs in the dealership around about 130,000, I think. And I picked it up for oh many. And I picked it up for 15k. Now you're probably like, how did you manage that? Basically, well, can I do it here? I don't think I can actually. No, I can't. Uh, I think, yeah, I need to be at the, ah, oh well, I need to be at the festival. Oh, I thought it was a drift zone, oops. Let's go the other way then, I thought it was a drift zone. <laughs> it is a speed zone. This thing's like, sounds like you're shooting guns in it, then, uh, Flames. Oh! This thing tends to struggle to get sideways. But it's, it's a long car, so... It might not get sideways as easy as you think. Even in the rain, like, it's struggling. It is rear-wheel drive. And all that goodness, but it struggles sometimes. Easy at roundabouts. Probably the best thing it's for. I'm just gonna, you know, just sit back. I'm not gonna stop talking. I'm gonna let the gameplay do all the, the talking, you know. Yeah. Oh, Another thing I didn't mention, if you all are putting this, well, I kind of mentioned it, stop, but didn't go into detail. All done, upgraded intake, 
Ignition, um, Twin Turbo, and that was it, apart from, yeah, I think that was it, no, you know, no camshaft, exhaust, I just kind of left that out because I was feeling it was not needed for a drift build. Twin Turbo is not really needed, but I felt this needed a little bit more oomph to it to get around some corners. Anyway, guys, we're gonna run off here. If you enjoyed, please smash the like button and also subscribe for more gorgeous voice arrivals and free content. I'll see you in the next video. Peace! Have a nice one!